name is Felicia McPhail. I'm the owner of the Photo Gallery. And Photo stands for From One Hand to Another. Photo is located in historic North community and it's the lower level of my home. Photo is a gallery that was established to display my calligraphy artwork and recently I have opened the doors to local artists to come in and display their artwork as well. Hi, my name is Romeo Taylor from the North Green Valley community. I'm at Photo Gallery showing my art and this is what I do. Romeo Taylor is this year's recipient of the Arlington County Grant for Individual Artists for FY 2019. You will see many depictions of life here in America and life here in our community. Uh, there are many African-centered artworks that are here and the central theme is the struggle that we've had throughout uh, our history here in Arlington County. And I appreciate the artwork because not only is it Afro-centered, but it's also very colorful and it deals a lot with nature. So I started painting when I was six or seven years old, drawing with pencils, from pencils to acrylic, from acrylic to charcoal, from charcoal to oil paints. When I got into oil paints through uh, Big Allen Carter, I um, fell in love with it. I've been dealing with oil paints for 20, 30 years. And it's only through his teaching and only through his method that I really, really understand how to use oil paint. And once I got into it, perfect time, I'm like in heaven, I love this stuff. When I first started painting, no. I couldn't keep no jewelry. I'd take the sets out the jewelry and paint the sets in, you know, paint around it. Then it would go down to the uh, Y and paint and bring stuff back on the Y. He didn't let Tim in the cartoon, but he liked authentic art, he liked authentic art. And when I say authentic art, he liked um, the stuff on the Washington Post, pictures from paper, pictures from magazine, like the Ebony, like the Washington Post. He liked all that kind of artwork. And, um, and he was very detailed in it, very detailed. This piece right here is called Lovers. I've done this in re reflection of earth, man, woman, and the unity of life and of love. The name of this piece is Feeling My Roots. Okay, this piece represents African Americans. Half of us are African, the other part is American. Basically that even though we live in America, our ancestry, our roots are still with us. It's a half a mass, half American, African American woman. We live in a community that is historically black and uh, very close to Washington, D.C., part of the Freedman's Village story. Our historic neighborhood of Nauk, formerly known as Green Valley, here in Arlington, Virginia, has quite a history, and a lot of it is depicted here in the artwork of Mr. Taylor that depicts uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly of the history. As a very young girl, I remember Romeo doing our work as early as I can remember, drawing on the walls, um, just being very creative. And most of Romeo's art is natural art. It's not a replication of anything. He believes in um, the, the, the black family, the um, African-American woman. And if you look at his artwork, all of it is depicted of an African male um, taking hold of a, uh, a, a strong family. Uh, he's very family oriented and most of his pictures 
um, depict either black depict either a black strong woman or a um, African American male um, being strong though. Um, I enjoy. I have a couple of his pieces, and I enjoy the pieces because it it always goes back to his roots of being uh, African American and um, the family. Uh, his mother was very strong. His father was strong. So, um, and his artwork depicts a family structure. This piece was named The American Dream. It shows an African American from slavery to now where it's the opioid epidemic, the drug epidemic, and this is him in a state of dream. This piece here is named Ghost in the Field. It's the African American man who used to work in the field. His energy, his ghost is still in the field. Even though the African American people are not picking cotton, there's still a stigma of that history. And they have the field and the cotton bag here with the African American ghost still in the field. My mom and dad would often take us, you know, camping and on trips, and, and that's where I think Romeo gets the vision of the water. Uh, we'd go fishing. Uh, my dad really enjoyed fishing. fishing and uh, yeah. if you look at his work, his work is either depicting some type of waterfall or some surroundings. This water is mostly in all of his paintings, and um, a strong black woman is also in his painting. And we took him to Smithsonian and we took them to different places so they could get a, a culture background, which he got a large, <laughs> a, a huge culture background. And uh, we were surprised. And one day, the father, well, you know, we walked in the house, and he said, oh, where did this picture come from? My mother said, Daddy, I drew it. He said, no, you didn't, babe. You didn't draw it. He said, yes, I did, Daddy. He said, that's wonderful. And he gave him a great big old hug. And from that time, this time he's in a spa, and he never put the brush down. He always had that paintbrush, a can of paint or a tube of paint, and they've been painting ever since.